Keisha, you got a mic. Your mic, you want to test it? You want to test Testing. it? Testing. All right, so uh, talk to us about these, uh, the relationship books and your your advice that you give to people who are dating. Now, Felicia is, is no longer dating. Yes, Felicia is married, married now, Bam. so she's, she's finished with that. I, I don't know what Doug is doing. You, you, you yeah, I ain't going to bring that up. Huh? <laughs> no, I don't mean that. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't, I don't date uh, at this point. I, I court. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm courting. That's what the, that's what the <laughs> that's old old folks they say, courting. Court. Now, so let's talk. Well, about you that. know, there's three relationship stages basically. Okay. You have what I call the campaign stage. Mm -hmm. That's when you're looking for somebody to date. That's when you're on the road. You're like a, a, a politician. You're shaking hands and kissing babies. You're trying to get elected. You you do agree then. Yeah. There, there are these different stages. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's the campaign. You're trying to get elected. You, that's when you put your best foot forward. You're clean. You're shining. You're making promises. Is, is that fair? Mm -hmm. Is that fair, fair to be, it, put it, the best foot forward it, if it ain't always going to be forward? Well, every, that's a natural thing for us to put our best foot forward. Okay. Because, you know, we, we're trying to catch. Okay. We're trying to get elected. Okay. So it's natural. You're yeah, right. So, you're right. And... But when, just like a politician, after you get elected, sometimes you don't follow through on the promises. Okay, so now that's stage one. Stage one is the campaign stage. Okay. Stage two is the maintenance stage. Mm -hmm. Now you got elected, what do you do? That's the most difficult thing because campaigning, you can put on a, your best foot forward and mm -hmm. you shine and you can do that with 10 or 15 different people. Mm -hmm. When you're with one person, you can't do that. Once they see the other side of you, they're going to have to learn how to deal with that and you got to learn how to maintain that. They're going to see both sides of you. Still. I'm trying to, but, this, 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 but if you put the, your best foot forward at stage one, yes. my feeling is it should be forward at stage two. You should always. Why, do, why does that change? Because the thing Not is, that it's changed, babe. babe I know you're but, listening. I ain't talking about us. I'm just talking, right? Because I'm in certain trouble, yeah. and I'm not courting no more after this Beyonce show. Beyonce has a song. <laughs> what is it called? I wish. I wish people could call in. What? The Beyonce has a song, I want to keep it like it was, so it so you can never see how it used to be. Right. That I feel is relatable. So at stage two, you should try to maintain. You can maintain for so long, but you, you can maintain, but it's only natural for you to let your guard down in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Every day you're not shining. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's okay. You mm -hmm. don't have to shine every day. Some mm -hmm. days you feel like walking around with a scarf on your head mm -hmm. and you're not shaved <laughs> and you pass gas. Or you, the you, scarf! The <laughs> scarf! The <laughs> scarf! Hey, the the rag. scarf! We, if we can deal with you in that greasy Get rag... Get rid of the rag! <laughs> no scarf! No! If you want slick hair, you need the scarf! Listen... Wear the scarf when you go home. Where did, oh, we talking about court. Where's, well, I courted you, before. Right, but... It, no, it, because when you're watching TV and you lay back on a couch, you don't want it to, like, you say, I want to... Exactly. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Because, again, we're going to like you. It's easy for a guy to like you when your hair is fly or whatever, mm -hmm. but how is he going to like you when your tracks are showing? Hey. When you're in the relationship, Damn. and we're like, okay, her tracks are showing, but I'm still feeling her mm -hmm. because when she cleans up... I know what she looks like, and okay. I'm rocking and I good or bad. Okay. All right? Okay. So that's so, that's two. That's two. That's the it's second ma thing. Maintenance? Maintenance. That's what you call it. Okay. Now, three is optional, because the thing is, the third stage is the recovery stage, because sometimes the relationships don't work out, mm -hmm. and we got to know how to recover from that. And a lot of times, we don't recover from relationships mm. in a good way. Amen. We let relationships beat us down, Amen. and then we take that baggage, and then we give it to new people. Mm -hmm. hey. So to recover, mm -hmm. we have to learn. Big preaching. Yeah. Right. We have to learn. Uh, about the good things in a relationship, internalize that and fix ourselves, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then we shine Absolutely. and we elect and we campaign better the next time. Man, you preach it. So that's in mm -hmm. which book? In my, my book, The Elite Way. I talk about okay. that. I talk about so it. in The Elite Way. Yes. What do you think are the worst things people do in relationships? The worst thing people do, they internalize and they take everything personal. If a person cheats on you, Nine times out of ten, that has nothing to do with you. It's not personal. Mm, it's just the way they are. I wow. Oh, yeah. boy, you got to. What did you say? You just gave me about whoa, 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 whoa. She disagrees. I, d I disagree. I agree. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I disagree. How so? How so? I mean, I think that it has a lot to do with sometimes someone may not be pleased with something that you're doing. And so they step out. If you are, if you're verbal, I'm verbal. So if oh, I that's say, obvious. Yeah. <laughs> if I say, you know, babe, I'm not really feeling the fact that you don't take me out, and you continue to take not take me out, hey. 
But that's people, before marriage, but, baby. It, but that's, that's people still about you. I'm telling you, that people, no. that's situations you can be in. You can do everything in a relationship, and a person will still step out on you. So some people just have a cheating vibe because of where they are in the relationship. A lot of people are not really ready for a real committed relationship because being in a player, you know, being mm -hmm. a player for guys, being mm -hmm. out there dating around, mm -hmm. that's a lifestyle that a lot of guys don't want to give up. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that? Mm -hmm. But guys do know a good woman when they see mm -hmm. one. Get your dad on yeah. we know hey, 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 yeah. hey, So hey, we're hey, like, we don't want nobody to have you. <laughs> I want you because here. That, because then that's the person that they chose. But so, we don't understand what choosing is. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm choosing you because I don't want nobody else to have you. Right. Exactly. Not because I'm going to be faithful to you. I just ah, don't want nobody else to have you. You, you think I'm that's why? You, I'm you think that's why? Think. I'm that's why you. most guys choose is because they don't want somebody else to have that's them. That's the of course. It's like kids. I think that too. Let me give like for example, children will have a toy that they they don't play with. Exactly. It's just sitting there. The minute another kid comes playing with that toy, he's like, "Wait, stop! That's mine." We become very. Um, um, so, that's so, up your so favorite it, why, why you gonna yeah. give the women the hint? Why you gonna let them know? Why you gonna let them know that we that we we get very territorial when somebody else come around? Exactly. Any smart woman should know that. I mean, that's mm -hmm. I, that's obvious. No, but I mean, I, 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 I never thought about, and I don't know. I wish I'm like you. I wish we could open these lines, right? Because you say we choose because you don't want anybody else to have it. Yeah. Frank, Frank, you you shaking? What you feel? You, oh, you, I'm, I'm taking it all. You taking it all? <laughs> See, because. I don't know if if the person who is in my life that I've chosen to have a single relationship with is because I don't want Frank to have her. And it, it, it goes different ways. And that's just one facet because there are some guys who are like, I'm dating a lot of women, but I just met her. Mm -hmm. She has it. She's going to make me change. There mm -hmm. are some situations where a woman who she's so fly and compatible he will say, hey, let me stop doing what I'm doing because I got a good one right here, mm -hmm. and I want to maintain that. Because I don't want nobody else to have her. Well, and, and for me, it, 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 it is definitely because I feel she is a good woman. Exactly. And her attention is her kid, her God, her kids, and her man. This and that's important to me. And this is why women have to understand where a guy is mentally in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Because, see, guys go through player stages. Mm -hmm. All dudes mm -hmm. go through a player stage. Mm -hmm. Everybody submit. <laughs> that's, that's not to I, no, say no, that. No, but I, I went through a stage of trying, and, and, and I will never lie about this. I think, it's, I think it, it helps people when especially men who are considered leaders are open about stages in their lives. Absolutely. And th there was a period in my life in which I dated. And mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm a man, and, yeah, and, and I'm not cheating. I'm not married. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so as life went on, and then I met the, the person who's in my life now, it was a choice based on the fact that I was like, I like every day of being with this woman. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so, yeah, yeah. But but if if you want her, babe, if, if if you meet them tonight and and I'm okay, y'all yeah, right. can get together, y'all yeah, can marry. Right. I'm telling a story. A lot. That I'm gonna it. have a fit. <laughs> 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 so you but, think? But, go ahead. But like I said, it's guys, very go, guys go through a stage where we we date and we want to date yes. around and we yes. like the feeling of that. Mm -hmm. Some guys grow out of that stage, and when guys grow out of that stage, they get to the point where they say, "Well, look." One quality woman mm -hmm. is better than just 20 random women. Mm -hmm. We get to that point, and that's where you want to meet a guy. You want to meet a guy who's on that level. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, women meet dudes right in their player stage. Mm -hmm. They haven't gotten it out of their system, mm -hmm. and they might take a breather and kick it with a woman for a while, but then they're going to get right back out there in the game mm -hmm. when the game is calling. Well, and I think that that's what... Well, you're shaking your head. I'm well, I, I'm, if, if they, if they are done. not... If they are not... No, we never agree, by the way. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have a co-host who agrees with me. It's a boring yes, show. Yes, yes, you do. Um, <laughs> uh, but so, so you're suggesting that a guy who is a player... Yeah. After after a while, he he goes back out to. There's, there's three player stages. You got three. The first you got a lot of stages. The, the Miss Dorla will be quiet. Yeah. Everything in three. <laughs> Everything in three. It's three not players. like a sermon. Yes, indeed. <laughs> three points. Right. When the first player stage is when a guy is trying to get in the game. That's okay. a guy who would like to get a lot of women, but he hasn't figured it out yet. Mm -hmm. So. And what is that that he hasn't figured out, brother? Oh, uh, because a lot of guys just 
<laughs> they don't know how to talk to women. They want to, but they just don't know how to do it yet. So they're trying to learn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, then you have the secondary degree player stage where guys learn the game mm-hmm. and they've mastered the game. So they know how to juggle women. Their whole thing is about juggling women. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just the messenger. Oh, we oh, juggle no. y'all too. He did, he okay. did his research. We yes, juggle y'all ahead. too. He ain't just come over Miss Doyle, would you please let him know we juggle too? Yeah, well, y'all I do like juggle too. Not like not, not like no, lose, no, not like the guys. Because no. women, y'all get emotional about it, but that's another story. But we <laughs> um, please write that, that down. I'm coming back story, to the emotion part. Go ahead. Okay, Let me get okay. to the third because okay. I want to come back this to the emotion part. This is what you do to me. I know you exactly. Stuck on me. I don't get to speak. I know because because they're listening to the Darius Pridgen show. In the third in the third state is when a guy has. Realize that one quality woman is better than all the random women, and that's when he's trying to settle down with a quality woman, and that's where you want to meet a guy in that third degree stage. That would be my king, okay. baby. Yes, baby, you listening? That's for you. you no, man. he ain't listening. You a good man. He out juggling. No. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Would it not be power to the people if I didn't, Sharif? I, Sharif, I'm not playing. You know, I know you don't juggle. I know you don't juggle. Are you juggling? Is not <laughs> Only thing Sharif juggling right now is them baby bottles and them parents. No, he's juggling a lot more than baby <laughs> That's bottles. That's what he's juggling. Uh, okay, let's go to the emotion. Because yes, as you can see, sitting next to us is a very emotional woman. Mm-hmm. Very passionate. Very passionate. passionate. Intense. Why? It, because that's, that's a, a problem sometimes because we are not as emotional. So it can seem as if we oh are God. detached. Exactly. Uh, in any of my stages. Exactly. And, and that, that's why men and women balance each other out. Men are there, usually we have a more protective thing, and protection is based on logic. We want to know facts. Oh, oh my goodness. Because yeah. we, it's about business. It's Let, about let's business. get down it's about to business. it. We're, we're the protectors, so we want to know what's that sound, what's that, what's that. I need to protect the family, I need to protect you, so I need the logistics of everything. So we mm-hmm. have to put emotions mm-hmm. to the side. I, even in military, in, in military oh, science, couples are listening right now. Go yes, ahead. Yes, indeed. In military science, it, it, they take you away from family and all that emotion stuff, so you can just follow instructions, logic, A, B, and C. I'm you, oh my god! <laughs> oh, okay. She said, "I'm just texting you." Oh my god! You, 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 I, 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 babe, I, I ain't make it up. I ain't make it up. Do, do you hear what the man's saying? Huh? You, you, they, yeah, I want everybody listening. Call your significant other. Every Drop man up game, out there, right? Drop it up the game. Said, you so business. Because for me, it's yeah. like, come on, let's get to the facts or whatever yeah, it yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. and exactly. let's 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 deal with the process so we can move on. Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. we need the woman to be the emotional balance to us. Mm-hmm. That did you hear that? What, what does that mean, Monique? Did you hear huh? that? What What you say, man? Thank you. Oh, Thank oh, you. Yes, no, no, no. So what is the no, no, no. emotional balance? Yeah, so the woman is going to do the, all, all the emotions and feeling for us, the, the nurturing for us, because our children need that. The children mm-hmm. need the nurturing, and they need the logistics of relationships, too. So the family needs both. So the woman is going to balance us out with their emotions. The problem is a lot of women try to be like us and try to handle things from a logistic standpoint and try to do things from a logistic standpoint uh-huh. and then try to hide their emotions uh-huh. and women always fall back into their emotions. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I'm hot. Oh. Miss <laughs> I can't do. What you say, man? He preaching. He preaching. I'm telling you, I know why you was on the New York. New York. I'm, I'm about to order every book. We, I, we, listen, it's gonna be our project. We gonna read every book. We gonna go through. I, and, and I mean, you know, we're laughing, but I think it is. It's almost like therapy yes, uh, for those uh, who are in relationship or desire to be in relationships. Because I think it's so important that we recognize that men are very different Absolutely. from women and that women are emotional. But help me here. Wait so minute, how does a wait. man deal then with a woman's emotion and not negate them? Um, that's that, that's based on how compatible he is with that woman. Mm-hmm. Because the thing is, a lot of guys, women mistake sexuality or being sexually compatible to being emotionally compatible. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. guys, we can have sex with a whole bunch of women don't even care about them. Mm-hmm. Sometimes women try. I mean, to I'm not them. agreeing with you. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. So right. somebody be like, "Bridge yeah, yeah. was on this radio." Yeah, right, 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 right. No, we're not trying to be too explicit. Right. Well, but no. right, it's our show. But but when men feel an emotional connection with a woman, mm. it's based on the, the chemistry we have and based on what she can bring to the table, what we can offer her. So there is an emotional connection with certain women. There's certain women men have that with. Mm. And that's what we have to look for if we're ready for a relationship. And the problem is, guys have to be out of that 
second degree player stage in order to find that. Now, we, we do also have to be careful, though, that we are, and, and this is where I would, because I'm a business guy, you yes. know, I'm, I'm a bottom line guy. Well, yes. What's the bottom line? Absolutely. When I get in a deal, I really don't care about how the building going to look. I don't really care about what, I want to know the bottom line. Absolutely. So, but I think that we have to also be careful not to be too bottom line and recognize that that person who we are with is a ball of emotion. And that's and, the, and see, with, with men, this is why men and women are different. Men are about the destination. Mm -hmm. Women are about the journey. Mm -hmm. It's the journey that, that gets women um, in, intrigued. Mm -hmm. Just like going to the mall. When men go to the mall, Amen. I'm going to get some jeans and Brother, shoes. And know that that's what that, you want. I'm going, that's all I'm getting. Yep. Yeah. Women go to the mall. I saw a purse I liked. <laughs> I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, I saw some sheets I liked. I saw some Remy hair weave that I might get. It's a whole journey that they get into when we're like, come on. So there's a balance that we have to have there. <laughs> Did you have something to say before I hang up on you? No, no, no. <laughs> Is the man preaching or what? <laughs> she said she's sending you all she's sending you but I think and, and uh, we have these conversations a lot about relationships and 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 I'm, I'm thankful for these type of conversations because I think they are important and and right now especially in the church you know I've been talking a lot about you know these kind of generational curses you know where yeah. where we really don't deal with relationships we we, we will sit and watch like we, we watched uh Nini or anything or and we have these conversations after Real conversation, you know, about what what's garbage, what's not, but about the struggles that other people have and why they have them sometimes. Now, hundred dollar question with mm -hmm. why is it, in your opinion, mm -hmm. that you see successful, many successful African American males mm -hmm. who marry outside the race? Oh, that's a heavy one. Yeah, that's a heavy one because in our community, we are we're switched. We're taught to have the women be the more dominant ones and men to be the more submissive ones. Mm -hmm. And that's because of systematic racism. Mm -hmm. Systematic racism in this country kept black males from being the economic provider, especially in the 19, up until the 1960s. Mm -hmm. There were certain laws enacted by unions that would literally stop black men from getting into the workplace. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, government stepped in as the knight in shining armor, like, hey, we have these programs for women to help you out mm -hmm. after we disenfranchise the men. Mm -hmm. They created these programs that took care of the women but left the men out. Mm -hmm. That created a, a, an imbalance in the relationship. And now, from the 1960s, um, women have been the, the dominant ones in the relationship. Mm -hmm. And that causes a crazy imbalance. And we're the only community, really, on the planet that's matriarchal. The African-American community is, is matriarchal. Mm -hmm. That causes an imbalance. And this is why we have a lot of issues as far as men, women roles. Because now the role of men and women, men and women in the black community, is a mother-child relationship. The women almost have to act like a mother to the guys. And men, you see grown men walking around looking like teenagers now. Mm. You understand mm. that? So, Speak a word. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we got to just get our balance back. That, that's right. not my call. You know, that's not wasn't the reason of the question. Right. I'm not acting as if something is wrong with it. But we do see a pattern. And, and one of the things I, I talk about here on the show a lot is there hasn't been a passing down of the torch, I don't think, from women like Sister Doyle in mass mm -hmm. of teaching women how to really fall into these roles, you know? And, and, and let, me, let me bring that home about the interracial relationships. Because women have had to play the dominant role in relationships, women, black women, have more of a problem submitting in the relationship. Submission is almost a dirty word in the black community. For do, women! Do you know at every wedding I do, I use that word? Submit to your husband, and then I explain what that yeah. word actually means. Because and, and, people get riled up right, about that word. Right, right. And, 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 and the thing is, in the white community, they understand what submission is. It's not a bad thing. So it's easier for black men, man who's successful, to find a, a woman who's not just a white woman, but just women from other cultures who have no problem submitting to the man in the relationship. So that's one of the reasons. 
It's been a deep show. Let me get back to the point. Yes, Tonight, yes, yes. wow, that I, I, I owe you probably a fee or something. I don't know. <laughs> it was wonderful, and yes, I indeed. really, I really appreciate you. I, I mean that from you, the brother. bottom yeah. of yes, my heart. That's yes, sir. why I wanted to invite Brother Tariq. I knew he was such wow. a talented young man in so many different facets of his of his life. I just want to say something as a a woman who was with one man for forty six, actually forty six years, mm-hmm. rather, because we dated for two years mm-hmm. and married mm-hmm. for forty four. I think we were in that maintenance so after the adjustment period mm-hmm. of the marriage we were in that maintenance mm-hmm. that you talked yeah, about absolutely. for the rest and then you see my husband's name was Romeo mm-hmm. and I'm just going to tell the truth yes ma'am he was, he was indeed a Romeo <laughs> <laughs> I love this show uh, I love people who are <laughs> real <laughs> yes, he yeah. loved the women uh-huh. but I think he got to that part where you talked about I found a quality woman mm-hmm. and when he found mm-hmm. a quality woman and then he began to say this is the woman I want to be mm-hmm. with for the rest of my life mm-hmm. and he kind of let all of that other stuff go absolutely. but you stayed with him be even before he let it go. I, I stayed with him before because he was a good man and I wanted to hold on to him. Mm-hmm. And let everybody know this is my man. I, I okay. think, and, and I, 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 I said this and I know we, we're but, signing but off. I just want to say yep. that the program tonight is yep. at the Market Arcade. Yep. Come early, meet uh, Tariq yes, uh, Nasheed. You can see he's, how talented he is. Come Very and see talented. the film. It is a film. Bring the young people yes. to yes. see this awesome Absolutely. African yes. history. How tonight. long is the film tonight? That it's two and a half hours, and sometimes we get impatient. It goes on at 6, it stops at 8.30. If we can go to a Bills game and watch them lose and still feel good, we can come out here tonight and watch this young man film and, and give him some encouragement and some support so that he can continue to make these dynamic films. Well, I want to thank you for bringing thank quality thank people. You, thank and you. Thank you for bringing them here. Yes. Thank, thank you. Take a picture. We'll be looking at Felicia real quick. Okay, so we are looking at you, Felicia. Yep. Got it? Got it. Are we coming back to you, Frank? All right. I'm ready. That's that's nice. Hold on, three. Okay, go three. On three. One. So pass this shit up just a little bit, please. Here? Yeah, nice. One, two, three. Wow. Three. Got it. Okay. All right.